All right, guys, today we're going to start using some actual graphics in addition to the labels that we used last class. So open up a new text pad or whatever IDE you're using, and let's get started. We have to import our ACM files, our ACM libraries. Import acm.program.star semicolon. We're going to import acm.graphics.star. And then, since we're going to be using some colors, we have to import one new item. Import Java. There's no X on this one. This is an old school one that's been around forever. Dot star. Import Java. Dot, uh, dot star. That's an old abstract Windows toolkit that will give us our colors. Then we need to give our program a name. So we'll call this, uh, our class will be Graphics Demo 1. And remember, we need to extend, or extends, graphics program one word. That means it's going to run in the graphics window. Then we add our two curly braces, and let's save it. Remember, we have to save it exactly as this. So I'm just going to copy and paste that, Control-C copies. I'm going to go to File, Save. And remember, we have to save it in that programming folder we made. And inside there, you might have two ACM folders, so make sure you're on the inner one. If you get to the ACM utilities, you've gone too far, so go back. We'll paste in this .java. We get our color coding. Let's compile. Compile early and often just to make sure things work. And nothing will happen yet because we have not given anything to do. So let's create our method. Remember, we're no longer using the main method. We're going to use public void run. That's where applets uh, have all their activity in the run method. That's where they begin execution. So I'll add a comment to that effect. I'll just say that's where applets begin. Now, just as review, let's add a label G label, my label is equal to, and the object we're creating. We're creating a G label, and we can name it pretty much whatever we want. I would stay away from using X and Y as variable names for your, for your objects. This is a G label object, because we're going to be using X and Y values for coordinates as we position things throughout. So I'm calling it my label, and these get equal to a new G label. Mine the spelling, capital G, L, and it's spelled E-L, not L-E, which is the Queen in his English. And then in here, put your name. That way, when you send me screenshots, I can uh, know whose it is. So that creates a new label, a new label object, and the name of that is my label. So every time we reference it, that's what we're going to use. That's the name of what we created. And we can create as many as we want. That's the nice thing about objects, is that you can just, uh, once you have the blueprint made, which is provided for us, you can create as many objects as you want. Just like in a video game, maybe you're playing a first-person shooter, you set it up to uh, medium difficulty, and they might have a, a file, a class, that determines what the bad guy's characters are, what your enemies are like. And rather than code every single guy they add uh, to the screen, they're just going to reference that, uh, that class and create objects from it. So if next, if you go back and then create a new game and start at the veteran level, Rather than uh, coding more guys, more enemies, they'll just create more objects from that pre-existing code. So I'm going to delete that. We can stick with one for now. And remember, this our our, our graphics program with ACM. It's like a, a cork board, like a bulletin board that you'd see in the classroom. So all we have to do is pin things on there. So if we want to pin our label, we use the add method. My label. And then we need to put it somewhere. So we'll put it, uh, this is the x value, 200 pixels over from the left-hand side. And then we'll go 300 down. So it should appear right about there when we run. And later on, we'll be able to change our window size. Let's compile that. Go ahead and test yours. Make sure everything's working. All right, so there it is. Well, let's go ahead and add some of that code we saw in the PowerPoint. We're going to add a rectangle. 
code for that. Graphical rectangle. G rect, we'll call it rectangle one is equal to G rect. Now in here we're going to use something different. Rather than the text, we need to give this some initial initial inputs it, it needs. And that what it's going to be is what is the size of our rectangle? What is the width and height? Or height and width. So the only way to check that out is once we'll see it, we'll know that the first one is longer, the second is shorter, so we can know which is the height, which is the width. So now when we create it, it has a defeat default value when it's constructed on our screen of how big it's going to be. And then to add it, we do the same thing. In fact, I'm just going to copy this line. Paste it, change it to rect1, and because I don't want it in the exact same place, I'm going to say uh, 2300. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Capital R. And when you get this box pops up, um, if you notice maybe in your folder, where you save everything, you might have a bunch of temporary files. Uh, this is a text pad thing. Uh, Java can run it in its own applet viewer window, so just X out of that. And there's our rectangle. But we can take it a step further. We added this line so that we can add some colors. So since we want to have it colored before we add it to the screen, let's add some space right here. So we can do something like this. Rectangle 1. That's our object. Set color. That's our method. And remember, this is the object dot method syntax. And this is the key to object-oriented Java programming. We're going to see a ton of this. Object dot method. And in here we can choose our color. The parameters that go in there are color and we have to use a uh, web safe color for now. You can create custom colors, but that's something for later. So we'll turn it green. Run it. There we go. We've got a nice little green outline. Later on, we'll be able to fill that in. But what I want you to do now, add a second rectangle. To do that, I'm just going to copy that, control C, paste is control V. Just have to give it a new name. It's still a G rectangle. If you want it to be bigger, change it there. If you want to change color, I'll go with the Christmas color. Well, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'll stick with those. And then let's put it in a different place. I'll go with. 130. Compile it. And run it. All right. Now I made a mistake in there. What I think I did is I created a new object, rectangle 2, but didn't finish updating everything. So compile, run it. And there we go. Now we have some things going on.